Mr. Hannan. Madam Deputy Speaker, when we were preparing for the military action in Libya, I made a speech from this place cautioning against intervention. I was one of the very small number of British Conservatives who was sceptical about military action. But the last thing I want to do is to be in the invidious position of so many anti-war commentators who have talked themselves into half hoping for the worst so as to be able to say, I told you so. We saw the same thing during the Iraq war. It's an extremely unattractive phenomenon. As Polonius says, beware of entrance to a quarrel, but being in so bad that the opposed may beware of thee. So I'm delighted now that we have got rid of a baleful regime which had committed repeated acts of war against our country, the uh, Lockerbie atrocity, the murder of Yvonne Fletcher, the funding of the IRA. I hope for a peaceful, pluralist and democratic outcome in Libya. One point. If and when Colonel Gaddafi is caught, he should be tried in Libya and not in the international court, which I won't dignify with the name of kangaroo court since it lacks the two very real economies of that kind of, uh, 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 of tribunal, namely speed and cheapness. Libya will not demonstrate its fitness by handing him over to an international bureaucracy. It will demonstrate its fitness by trying him and giving him justice in its own sovereign territory.